hello everyone so i hope you are doing good so this is the last video as a part of migration services and very important to avoid any charging so uh, i hope you have uh, understood the concepts of migration from azure cloud and uh, uh customer data center to aws so as per the uh, as per the components that we have created so you need to delete those components so you need to since we create the components both on aws and microsoft azure cloud so make sure that you have removed all the components so in aws do remember to clean the uh, data migration service cleanup and database that components that we created ec2 instances elastic ips release those elastic ips uh, delete any snapshots that that were created and in the end you can delete the cloud formation stack that we created uh, to deploy this architecture so that was a part of uh, aws cleanup and as a part of uh, microsoft azure just ensure that you have deleted the vm and all those components that were created for that Uh, for that vm uh, that were that were there so just ensure that you are not being charged for all these components if you leave any of these components uh uh, uh kept in the uh, aws cloud or microsoft azure so you will be charged for that and if you review any like after 2 3 day, days you will be charged a lot of money out of this also for uh, testing this environment uh, there will be some charging for this so just be keep in mind you need to pay those bills to aws cloud so if we go to our uh, uh to to if we go to our uh, uh, aws my aws console so just a second so also I'll, i'll show you how to delete those components in aws console so i'm here into uh, uh, database migration service so make sure that you delete the endpoints that we created and the replication instance that we created so you can you can delete this click on action delete delete also data migration task so everything needs to be clear also if you go to rds so you can delete this Uh, the database that we created over here <clears throat> because uh, this, there is a billing for this all these components so to avoid avoid any charging so just delete that click on actions delete so you don't do not require any snapshot you can uncheck this and click on delete me click on delete so this will uh, start deleting the components so after some time you can uh, refresh and, and check it so if the, if we go to our ec2 instances so here you can uh click on instances that are running in this region so all these instances are there so select it <coughs> and click on uh, instance terminate instances so this will delete all those instances that are running because we do not require them in any of now click on elastic ips so you can select them disassociate and so this one is associated only so if we select this disassociate yes now you can release these ip addresses so i think this will be deleted as a part of uh, cloud formation stack that's why you are not getting that option so no problem uh, uh, this will be deleted during so go to snapshots so lot of snapshots are created in this you can delete this also so volume just verify there is nothing in the volume so this will be automatically deleted once you terminate the instance so let's go to cloud formation also so 
so in cloud formation just select the main stack uh, migration immersion day so click on delete and delete stack so th this will start delete all the nested stacks also so that's all for this uh, video uh, just uh, just want to remind you to uh, clean the environment so just verify once all these things are deleted there is nothing left out of at the end so i hope uh, this all these series of videos are helpful for clarifying your uh, uh, migration concepts for uh, so ads athena and uh, application migration so and also database migration service so if you like this video uh, do subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos in future thank you very much bye bye